Have you ever wondered how far back the roots of the Israel-Palestine conflict go? Now let's take a trip down memory lane, way back to ancient times. You see, it all started with a family drama. Yes, you heard it right, a family drama. The story involves a man named Abraham and his two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Legend has it Isaac, the son of Sarah, became the forefather of the Jewish people, while Ishmael, the son of Hagar, is considered the ancestor of the Arabs. A brotherly rift that, as fate would have it, laid the foundation for a centuries-long feud. Imagine that, a family squabble turning into a geopolitical hot potato. It's like a soap opera on a biblical scale, with a plot twist that's kept the world on its toes for millennia. And so the genesis of one of the world's most enduring conflicts was set in motion. So it seems that this conflict, like a fine wine, has aged over millennia. Ever heard of a land promised by God himself? Well, you're in for a divine surprise. Picture this, a land flowing with milk and honey, the land of Canaan, or as we know it today, Israel and Palestine. According to the good old book, this was the land God promised to Isaac's descendants, a divine real estate deal, if you will. Now the twist in the tale, both Jews and Arabs trace their lineage back to Isaac. Yes, you heard it right. Both claim to be the rightful heirs of this divine promise, leading to a deep-rooted territorial dispute that has stood the test of time. And here's the dark comedy of it all. A promise of peace and prosperity from the Almighty Himself has sown the seeds of a perpetual conflict, a bitter feud that echoes through the centuries. Quite the divine irony, wouldn't you say? Imagine a divine promise causing such earthly chaos. So how did this ancient sibling rivalry translate into a modern-day geopolitical puzzle? Well, let's rewind to the aftermath of World War II. The world was left in shambles, and amidst the rubble, the State of Israel was established. The United Nations, in its infinite wisdom, proposed a partition plan, a plan that was as well received as a skunk at a garden party. This led to a series of wars, each more devastating than the last, and what was once a family squabble over a birthright transformed into a struggle for national identity and homeland. The battle lines were drawn not only in sand, but in the hearts and minds of the people involved. The ancient conflict took on a new form with modern weapons, modern stakes, and modern complexities. And thus, an ancient family feud has become a modern-day conundrum. It's a classic case of, you can't choose your family, but you can choose to fight with them over land for a couple of millennia.